Greetings to all of you who are part of the family of Fellowship and Faith at Cross Timbers. I uh, want you to know, Toby, you and Micah, Betty, and I sure love you. And uh, we feel your love for us as a couple, for life outreach, and the outreaches of life. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your interest in kingdom purpose, for sharing with me and with Betty national concerns, issues that we all face, for taking those concerns to heart, for praying for our nation. The church is the greatest source of influence and difference making on this planet. And I am so thrilled that you truly have a heart for missions all over the world. There's no question in my mind that your wonderful family, that family of believers at Cross Timbers will also catch the vision to share the love and life of God with those who seem to have been forgotten and certainly too often overlooked. Your journey to Mumbai as well as other parts of the world I know has broken your heart, but also has given you a keen sense of responsibility as well as opportunity to make all the difference in the world in someone's life. I've said many times that we are the clearest expression of God's heart and the only true extension of His hands on earth. We are His body, His family. Thank you for your concern. We've been working on the mission field now for over 20 years in literally hands-on situations. When Betty and I began to see the tremendous need for feeding programs on the continent of Africa and in other hard-hit, uh, undernourished nations and situations, we immediately took action and just prayed that someone else would join us. And thank God they have, and churches like yours have. What we have done together with other believers and with church families like Cross Timbers has enabled us to save the lives, according to missionaries and government national reports, over 10 million lives. The feeding programs and the food factories in Africa have literally provided the way to give life to those who had no hope. And we have seen the miracle of love in action. To love not just in word, but as the scripture says, indeed. The food factory in Africa is incredible. There are several of them. We manufacture food that is so effective that at one point the United Nations sought out the possibility of us making it for them, but the numbers were too great there and our responsibility heavy where we are. Those food factories are awesome. To take that food and mix it according to the nutritional needs of a particular area and then put it in those bags, load those bags on the trucks, and many times I've helped unload them and wish for the strength to do it all day long if necessary, whatever it takes. Then to see that food in those little bowls, heated up like a, a beautiful porridge mix. And, and as I mentioned, with the exact nutritional necessity of that particular region, meeting those needs. It's actually quite a biological and scientific uh, discovery process, and it works. You see children that are near death, Remember so well Beth Moore praying over a little baby that it seemed certain that little baby Matthew would die that night. And then to see her over a year later go back and kick a ball with little Matthew. A miracle. It wasn't just the prayer and concern of the missionaries in Beth. It was the concern of people who made the food factory a reality and saved lives. Our grandson Luke prayed over a, a dying baby. That baby lived. As millions have because of the food factories. Your desire as a church family to establish a food factory in Mumbai is a miracle. And it will produce many more miracles. To all of you at Cross Timbers, Betty and our entire family have been so blessed by the impact of your great church. 
thank you for reaching out to put the arms of God's love around people in desperate need in Mumbai. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring. I pray that you will make one of the most generous and if necessary, sacrificial gifts you've ever made in your life. Every one of you, from children to adults, every couple, every person, share the love of God. Be a cheerful giver. You will save lives. Thank you and God bless you as through you He blesses others.